never forget. Today marks 19 years since the deadliest terror attack on America. Cities across the country are taking time to remember the victims of the September 11th attacks. Vice President Mike Pence and former Vice President Joe Biden attended the Ground Zero service, where organizers decided for the first time not to have family members read the names of the fallen in order to maintain social distancing, instead playing a recording of victims' names. And in Shanksville, Pennsylvania, President Trump joined the family members of people who died on United Flight 93 for a private memorial service. Biden also traveled to Shanksville hours after the president departed, laying a wreath at the wall honoring Leroy Homer, Flight 93's co-pilot. A local group also honoring the victims of the 9-11 terrorist attacks at Tempe Beach Park, but in a different way this year. Because of the pandemic, the fields that are normally covered in thousands of American flags stayed empty. Instead, Healing Fields, the organization that puts the whole event together, held a virtual event. Volunteers still read the names of some of the victims who were killed 19 years ago today. They plan to have the flags back up for next year's 20th anniversary. Tonight, two blue beams of light stand tall in the lower Manhattan skyline, and they will remain until sunrise.